Um, it just came out that way. Um, I mean, you know, we drew up a play for if they made the made the uh, free throw, but they uh, didn't. So we just kind of just pushed it down the floor and uh, just, you know, just everybody was just going to be ready. So for wh whoever got the ball. Um, I mean, it's Mac, it's Mac uh, basketball, you know, uh, late in the conference play. So we ex always expect a dog fight. Um, we didn't expect anyone to come in here and roll over. I mean, yeah, we expected more shots to go down and uh, a little bit more on the offensive end, but it didn't. And, uh, you know, our, our – you know, set, our reserves came in and really uh, affected the game. So I think they're the ones, you know, who really uh, won the game for us. I would say that it was just a flow of the game, you know. I mean, because we're always in the gym, always getting shots. I guess the ball just wasn't going our way this half or that half. And we got to do better about it next time, next game. Um, a word for this year uh, that we've kind of, you know, talked about a lot and shown a lot has been poise. Um, like I said, you know, it wasn't easy for us in the beginning. Um, like uh, there was like a little lid on the rim. I mean, it is what it is. But I mean, our, our bench players really stepped up and really, uh, really, you know, got us going. I mean, we were down what four to seventeen was in the first half. Was it the Reese alley oop? One of one of those key. I mean, plays? It, no, it was a lot of plays. I mean, that was one of them. You had uh, defensive plays. Uh, you know, that was a big deal. Uh, rebounds, um, blocks. There's a lot of plays that, that go unnoticed. Um, a lot of people want to say that, yeah, my shot at the end was what won the game, and that's really not it. Uh, when you look between the lines, it's really, you know, their, their win. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, that's part of it, too. You know, like, we, we, we no one can expect to, to not really make a shot. Um, but, you know, we try not to let, let uh, offense affect our defense. So that's our, our goal that Gross kind of uh, constantly says is we don't let, let our offense feed into our defense. Uh, I mean, yeah, like, you know, we're always uh, happy to win and, and, you know, grateful to win. So, I mean, you know, a lot, we, we really didn't put ourselves in a good position to win. Um, but like I said, the bench mob came in and they really helped us get there. Um, I mean, we were, guys were excited to play. Um, I mean, you can maybe say we were a little antsy. Um, but I'll say it again. <laughs> the bench really came in and really won the game for us. Antsy? So. Why antsy? We didn't have not played in a whole week, um, so you know we're like anti to amp to play, you know, okay. excited. So you know, we kind of, kind of, we may have been, you know, too excited. You never know, but uh, I mean, we got Bowling Green next. Uh, happy with a win today, and we got Bowling Green next, and you know, keep it going from there, one game at a time. Like it's just a constant battle. Like he's, I, I agree that he's a, a very a talented player, but it's just a constant battle. You know, like you can't stop someone from scoring. So like they're gonna make runs. We just gotta be tough and. Um, I think yeah, that was a part of it, but it was also multiple other multiple other plays that we made that um, helped us get back into the game. I mean, uh, <clears throat> a lot of shooters always hear it all the time that uh, you know just keep shooting. You know, next shot, next shot's going in. This, that, and the third. So I mean, that's just I don't I don't think about the misses. You know, like my team, if we need a three, I mean, I know a lot of my teammates would have you know done the same thing. You know, feeling that we need a three, no matter how many you miss, I could have missed fifty, could have missed one, it doesn't matter. Like if that's what we need and time to score, you know, like, I'm going to be confident enough to, to, to pull that, you know. You obviously, have, and I said this after the game uh, on TV with Michael and Jackie and and uh, uh, to Kevin and Rob after the game, you know, and certainly didn't mean it in any way, shape, or form, like a, trying to be a jerk, but the reality of it is I meant what I said, and that is I felt like they deserved to win the game. I thought they outplayed us at both ends of the floor. I thought the way they played coming into the game with their two wins over Buffalo and Toledo, I thought they were much better in the zone than they were in game one. Um, I thought their rotations were on point. thought they played harder. thought they were getting contributions from a lot of different guys on that end of the floor. And then offensively, they were better. Torre had been establishing himself even more inside. He's a load. thought that Montero and Morgan were really gifted offensively and that other guys were playing their roles really well. So give, you know, give Murph credit. I think now with those two games, obviously, that we dissected and coaching against him live today, shoot, they're, they're playing as good as anybody. You know, they played really well. So let's start with that. Uh, in terms of uh, from our end or our perspective, I first of all, I want to say a great job by our bench. Uh, the reinforcements, we call them, strength and numbers guys that came in from Reese's uh, way he played in the first half uh, with double-figure points and the way he rebounded the ball presence he gave us inside to Tribble's minutes uh, defensively and uh, taking care of the ball in key junctures, Ali's defense, uh, passing in the interior of the zone, you know, his his uh, ability to defend primarily I thought was really good and I thought it's the best Michael Dawson has played uh, to this point with some extended minutes. 
Um, I thought Sales, when we got in foul trouble, made two huge defensive plays late. He switched out on a shooter, created a miss, guarded the pick and roll perfect, and created another miss at the rim. Thought he was great. So, you know, Sales and Ali and Reese and Tribble and Dawson, those guys really gave us a spark today. And uh, we don't win the game without the reinforcements. I think it's the best they've collectively played. And boy, did we need every single possession of their play and every point, obviously, as, as you saw. Uh, secondly, um, you know, I thought obviously we made a few plays at the end of the game. Jackson's floater, Banks' vertical on the last possession to get the defensive stop was tremendous. I just saw it on film. And, um, you know, obviously X makes one, one shot the whole game and uh, from three and makes uh, the one that ends up being the game winner on the, on the last second action there. So, you know, we stepped up and made a few plays. Sometimes in doing this 25 years, you got to win games like that every once in a while. If you want to have a special season, you maybe try to steal one, you know, from the mouth of defeat. And we truly did, you know, steal one today. But give our guys credit. You know, there were several plays they had to make late. And they executed other than one possession where we fouled too late in the shot clock that I wasn't very happy about. Uh, for the most part, in the last two minutes, they executed special situations very well. I thought early, George, it'd be easy for me to say, oh, we just missed shots, you know. And if, if I really felt that way, I would tell you. So you know me, I'm going to be very authentic with you. I thought we missed shots early. Thought we got the ones we wanted that we had prepared for all week. And in particular, the first two or three that Zarius had were wide open. But after that, I thought it was, it was a struggle to get good shots. You know, I thought that uh, they were long and athletic and rotated well in the zone, and, and it was not easy to get in the middle third of the game. It was not easy to get great shots. Give them credit. In the back third, I thought we made some plays and were a little bit better. In the first third, I thought we just missed shots. So it's a combination of both. But to be honest with you, if you said, you know, call it one side or the other, was it their defense or your – use the word stagnation or pace or ball movement or execution or shot making. I'm going to give them the 60% today on that. I thought their zone was really good. Um, have you ever been in a situation where a team gives you with shooting under 50% from the free throw line? Yeah, but you got to remember I've been coaching a long time. <laughs> yeah. Not very often, but I've had it happen. Okay, I've had it happen. You know, you do it 25 years, you – assistant head coach. I, I was thinking about a game today when we were at Ohio State. We played LSU on New Year's Eve after the game I was sharing with George and Larry. And uh, they played great. We didn't play great. We looked like we had bad gas in the tank. And and uh, Matt Sylvester makes a last second shot to win the game on New Year's Eve. And we win it. But I think if you're in it long enough, you kind of see a little bit of everything. But, you know, fortunately for us today, they missed some free throws down the stretch that gave us an opportunity to, to – uh, you know, pull victory from the jaws of defeat, as my associate head coach Dustin Ford would say. You last last week after Ken, you said point blank that you prefer not to deal with the bye week. Did that contribute to any of this? You think? Well, we don't have any excuses. I mean, that doesn't ever do you any good. Yeah, but I, I, you know, I'm not. You know that I'm not. I've been very outspoken about that um, prior to the year, not just this year when it and. and you know, after the game on Friday night at my radio show the other night, like, you know, and that's okay. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I'm not mad at you if you have a different opinion. There's certainly debatable. I mean, everybody's entitled to that. But I'm not a huge fan of it for a lot of reasons, um, mostly because of imbalance. But you know what? You could say, hey, you were, you were out of rhythm because you were off eight days. If you want to use that as an excuse, then I might flip it around and say, to you, well, we also have more days to prepare for them, George, than they had to prepare for us from a mental standpoint. So we're not going to use it as an excuse. It is what it is. Uh, the bye week's the bye week. And, you know, fortunately we were able to skate through today and make a couple plays at the end. And, you know, now we've got to get ready for Bowling Green on Tuesday night. John, is this, were we going to print on tickets? What? Watch the zips could be hazardous to your help. Third straight game, last possession. Yeah, no question. Like, we've had three of them now. We're one and two in them, right? <laughs> yeah, we're one and two, you know. I thought, uh, obviously, you know, I already made the comments on the previous two games that came down to the last possession, but it's our league. I mean, just is what it is. I mean, I think the league right now is really, 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 really good. 
top to bottom. I think there's a lot of good teams, and I think if you're trying to predict who's going to win on a given night, good luck. It's who plays the best that night and who makes the most plays, and it doesn't matter what place you are in the standings or what you're ranked here or ranked there or, you know, if you're the favorite or you're not the favorite, it doesn't matter. You better play that night. And I think the league has shown that in particular over the last week or so.